Hey everyone, welcome to my fourth playthrough, Rebuild. This game was made by Two Towers something or other for Congregate. Anyway, it all started in Holland. The media called it the Dutch Flu. It was connected to some kind of weird tulip eating cult. The Netherlands used used to in, export a quarter of the world's tomatoes and cucumbers, but that wasn't all. They were exploring the, exporting the undead, Armageddon. During the first year, survivors band together to fend off zombies. But, we're not going to run away anymore. We're going to put our feet, foot down and fight for humanity. Okay, so city name is going to be Glitchopolis. Now, for you, those of you who have never played this game, I'm going to explain how this goes in a second. But anyway, I'm going to be Mike Eckham, in case you're too stupid to figure out. Eckham is Mike Backwards, so that's not my last name. Get over it. Alright, so as you can see, the survivors of the zombie apocalypse have built themselves a nice little place. They've got a couple of suburbs, a farm, and a guard station. As you can see, with some things, you can replace them with other things. Now, the aim of this game is, um, zombies have taken over the world, and you have to reclaim your city back. So you have to go around, scouting the area, saving survivors who are outside the, um, area, killing zombies, scouting food, and then finally taking that building and putting it in your walls. Okay, so as this works, you move days, and um, as you move days, um, things happen. For example, we've cr recruited two more su su um, survivors. <coughs> from the suburbia. However, recruitment failed in another area. There are different types of people. There are leaders who will guarantee you finding people. There are soldiers who will have, have less danger done to them um, on scouting missions. Oh yeah, and sometimes zombies will attack your walls. So make sure you improve your defense at the police station. Unfortunately, the fort was overrun and we lost the survival. No biggie though. Now you'll also notice that smiley face, that's um, town happiness. If that drops below 35, things could start happening. You also don't want to run out of food. Now anyway, as I was saying, there are scavengers like Bell and Sam Fredericks over there who are good at, um, um, you know, um, scouting for food. There are builders who are better at um, taking back the area. There are scientists, these play a very important role. And there are people in the white shirt who, if they go on some army missions or some recruiting missions, they can turn into an army man or a scientist or something like that. So that can be used to your advantage. Anyway, we've killed some zombies in the hospital. So hopefully I will be overtaking something again. Sometimes when you go on a food scouting mission or a zombie killing mission, you don't get all the food or you don't kill all the zombies. You just have to go through again. Oh, and something I've learned. Um, reclaiming the area means you don't get the survivors or the food. Just saying. Anyway, farm bonus, we got plus six food. That's good. Zombies killed. Two zombies killed. Ten food plus. And... survivors. Now there are 18 people. Now we're going to reclaim the suburbs. We are going to reclaim the hospital. And we are going to scavenge the food. No, we are going to do nothing. Now we're going to scavenge for food. Or are we? Yes we are. Okay, um, you crap. Sorry, you want to take more soldiers if you want people to survive missions. The more danger to them, obviously, the more chance that they are going to die. Anyway, 
plus 15 and plus 5 happiness because we got a dog. So food and dog, it's good. Um, let's kill some zombies in the police station. Okay, that's good. Let's scavenge for food. Okay, so this might have gone off to a confusing start. This game is basically, um, yeah, if I haven't said all this stuff before, um, you gotta get back. Um, there are three ways to win this game, all of which I'll be showing in this playthrough. There is the pure zombieism. There is the take everything back from the zombies. And there is the um, <coughs> form of treaty or something or other. Um, yeah. Um, we've kind of like really jumped in the game, so I haven't been able to say I think should have been said about this game and might have jumped in too quickly but I like this game it's a good game um, definitely an extremely good flash game one more survivor yeah I would tell you guys more about the game but I think learning from experience will be a good thing I mean that's when you do that's what I did when I played this game so yeah recruitment failed damn Yawning. Okay, let's reclaim the church. Let's reclaim the office. Or recruit some survivors. Let's take Barbara as well to be a recruiter. I mean a leader, sorry. Recruit more survivors, but there's great danger there, so we're going to take the rest of our army men. <laughs> army men. Uh, police station reclaimed, alright. Now we got more defenses. 0% danger to the fort, so there's no point putting more than three people on for now. Um, plus one soldier. Survivors recruited. And survivors recruited. Now there's 24 survivors here. Or 25. Huh. Why'd it take 24? Oh well, reclaim the area. There's 10% danger, but I'm pretty sure they can do it. Um, church. Let's kill zombies. Um, yeah, 6% is fine. Now we'll go to the McNoodles. Obviously, we couldn't use McDonald's. <laughs> and there'll also be an 812 instead of a 711 coming up. It's funny. Um, you'll actually notice that all the suburbs happen to be cul de sacs for some reason. Anyway, plus five happiness, four zombies died. Office reclaim. Now we can, um, cause uh, there are some buildings that just do absolutely nothing to the community. So what you want to do with those, oh yeah, church reclaim. Um, things like the offices and um, McNoodles and I think Walmart. You'll want to uh, turn them into something useful. Now, the church, um, hospital is useful because sick people could die and that would lose happiness and survivors. Um, the church is good because it brings up happiness. Without the church, happiness could go down. Suburbs, obviously, a good place to live. Farm gives us food, which we are almost running out of, I just realized. I am going to do something about that. 